what we want to do here is we want to look at how do we complete the square? Let us say we have a x squared plus 4x. And we want to use a diagram to quickly complete the square here. So let us take a quick look at this. So let us say I have this box here. And um, this is x length by x. So the entire area would have been classified as x squared multiplying x by x. This 4x, I want to take this, I want to break it into two pieces, two equal pieces. So I'll get 2x when I do that. So let me attach a rectangle here where this side is x and this length is two units. So when you multiply um, two times x, you would see that the area of this gives you 2x. I'm going to do the same thing here because the next half, I'm going to put it along here. When I do that, this length here is 2. This is also x. And then if I multiply 2 times x, the area of this becomes 2x. So here, we're looking here now that the length of this side is x plus 2. And the length of this side here is also x plus 2. You actually see the same side, which means that if I should quickly complete this square because since the two sides are the same length, so if I continue this, then technically the entire figure will be a square because this is x and this is also 2. This is x and this is also 2. So we are actually seeing that we have a x plus 2 all the way around. So we have a square. But if you really think about it, this part, right? This part here that I'm about to show, it's a two by two in terms of the length, the sides. So the sides measure two. And when I complete this square, I do get a square, but this four, which is the result of two times two, is not a part of the whole thing. So I actually added that. So in reality, if I should multiply the length of the side, I'll have x plus 2 all squared. But this 4 is not a part of that. So I have to take it out. Hence, I would have just completed the square here. x plus 2 square minus four. There it is, using a diagram.